Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the commodities market uh, for Wednesday, December 9, 2020. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we uh, continue to gradually go higher in this market. So I don't expect this market to go any much higher than the 20 exponential. And at this stage, it's uh, roughly at the 91.67. Probably will only get to 91.40, which are the previous highs over here. So technically, for the US dollar index, they are improving. The CCI and the, and the stochastic are bullish. Uh, MACD is turning around. So that may mean that we are heading towards the 20 exponential. We'll see. But I think that we're just going to see more of this. Uh, get towards the 20, the breakdown, get towards 20, breakdown, and so on. If you look at the other time frames, we can see that we'll most likely run into a major resistance here at the 15. This is a four hour chart. And that's why I say that when we get to 91.51 at this uh, at this point, uh, we'll most likely break down. So we are, you can also see the uh, technical indicators on the four hour chart that they are turning around. So this rally is, does not have much momentum behind it. It is just a, pull, a minor pullback before we again go and test these previous lows here. So the outlook for the US dollar is not really good at this stage. Um, and that, of course, has major implications for other commodities, as this is a negative correlation between the US dollar and the other commodities and precious metals. So let's look at oil. And as you can see, we tried to break down today, rallied again. And uh, I think it's just a matter of time before we head towards these very lows. And when I mean very lows, I mean here. That is roughly 44. That is probably as far as this market will go. Um, I think that uh, 20 exponential will uh, will have major support. Also, these previous lows here, which we tried to test uh, last week, but uh, failed, will also act as major support. And right underneath here are the previous highs. So I don't think that we are going much lower than this. And when we get there, that is a buying opportunity. And the target is, of course, these highs of the 46.67 and probably all the way up to 50. That is where we are heading towards. We could make the case that we are in a channel here. So we can get rid of that. And that's the upper part of the channel. And this is the lower part of the channel. Uh, we can move it so very this way. Hopefully there. So we are basically at the bottom. That's why also we get got rejected. If we pierce through here, then the 420 exponential will be uh, supportive. But this channel here, the target of it will most likely be the 50. There will be enormous amount of selling occurring when we get here. And also when we get to uh, 47.5. But the 50, we will have major, uh, we find this area here as major resistant. And that probably will kick this market back towards the 40 or 35 dollar level but we're talking about um, a month month or two in order to get to those levels technically in the years for now uh, daily chart are looking very bearish at this point and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how far this market will fall but uh, i don't think we're going to go very far this is probably as far as we'll get and i'll probably buy when we get here so Let's look at natural gas. And as you can see, we tried to rally. We did not manage to take out the previous highs from yesterday here. Uh, even though the technical indicators for natural gas are turning around, I have no interest in basically entering this market whatsoever. Uh, I would be interested if it falls all the way down towards the 2.2, then I'll enter the buy here with a stop loss run underneath. But at this moment, I would encourage everybody to just stay far, far, far away from natural gas. Uh, it could We can also make the, the argument that we're in a downward channel with these tops and these lows, and then we're basically trading downwards. And uh, we'll see what happens when we get to the 200 moving average. Otherwise, just stay away from this. So let's look at copper. 
So copper tried to break down today. We got down to 3.46 and then rallied. But I think that we are going to go lower. Uh, 20 exponential should offer, offer some resistant no, support here. Technical indicators are turning around. We are way overbought. So it is just a matter of time before we roll over towards the 20 exponential. That's a roughly 3.35. And um, we most likely will find um, support there and then rally it back towards this the upside. So I may start selling here, but I would rather see a pullback at the 20 exponential in order to buy to the upside here. So let's look at gold. So as you can see, we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average, pulled back a little bit. Um, I know that there's a lot of um, um, hype about this being a major run towards uh, the 2000, 2100. I just see this as more of the same. Yes, this could have been the very lows. It is possible that this was the very lows. But I don't think that this market is going to go significantly higher without a stimulus. And there is no stimulus in sight at this point. So if we rally now without a stimulus, then we should have rallied here. We should have rallied here. We should have rallied all over here and here. But we didn't. Um, instead, we ran into resistant and then broke down. And I think that is the, the, what we're going to see again. So we're going to see a lot of choppiness up, up and down. And um, it is not until January or February next year that we'll see a major move to the upside. Uh, of course, news about stimulus and so on will, of course, affect this market. But I think that we're just going to head back and forwards within this uh, triangle here until we get towards 2021 around January or February, and then it will break towards 1900, 2000, and then to 2100. Um, it is possible to trade within this barrier. I think when we get to the upper limit, uh, upper limit here, there's massive resistance. You can sell it towards the lows and then buy it and then sell it. But we'll see whether or not this holds. I think this is what's going to happen, but we'll see. So let's look at silver. Silver has started uh, trading above the 50 moving average, but that is not a very encouraging candlestick. Uh, we may roll over from here, head back towards uh, 21.8. That is possible. We have a major trend line here that we ran into, and that's why we basically got rejected. So until we break this trend line here, trade above it, that it means that we'll just continue more of the same. So we'll see. This is a similar move towards this trend line and then break down. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. It's going to be fascinating to watch this market. However, if this market starts to rally above this trend line here, it basically means that this trend will change. And it will also have the same effect on gold. So the theory about the, about the gold uh, traveling into the triangle that will not hold if this starts to trading above this trend, this trend line here. So keep that in mind. We could also look at the Fibonacci retracement for this market here, and we can see that we'll mostly default towards 22.8, find resistant support there, and at the very lows is at the 20.7. That's the 50 Fibonacci retracement. So we know where we're going if we break down from here. So let's look at uh, platinum. Fascinating day yesterday, it broke down, we rallied yet again today, and uh, at this point, I think we're heading towards the 20 exponential. It, we did not manage to take out the previous highs from yesterday, and we just got to basically half and then pull back again. These technical indicators are turning around. It is an indication that we are going to turn, turn around here, heads towards the 20 exponential, and then we'll see whether or not this holds. I think that it will hold. And the reason for that is because we have this previous highs here just at the 20 exponential. So these are going to act as, as, um, as um, 
support and does so is going to be the 20 exponential so pull back to here rally that's a buying opportunity towards the, the 0 0.0 not 1.080 uh, level and we'll see what basically happens but at the point of the moment there's no reason to enter this market just see where it goes so let's look at pallium we are in the same place we're just jumping around at the 50 moving average we do rally above it and they're going now underneath it at this point we are trading underneath the 50 so whatever happens in the market it's it is fairly impossible to trade it to be fairly honest um we could make the case that this is the very lows 2.191 and these are very highs roughly here would be 2.438 so we're basically right in the middle and usually what i say don't trade the middle only trade the extremes and that's basically at the very top at the very bottom in order to maximize profit and lower risk as possible so entering this market is an absolute no-no but we'll get to aluminium because aluminium was a market that we did enter today and we entered a buying position here when we hit the near the 20 exponential and as you can see we pulled back and at the, at the point we made a well a candlestick that is fairly possible a positive i i wouldn't be surprised if we stick around here for a few days probably a little bit underneath the 20 exponential i don't expect that to happen but stay within this area find a little bit of support and then go back towards the very highs technical indicators for this are not looking very bullish to be fairly honest i made this trade solely on the on the on the idea that the 20 exponential was going to be very supportive so we'll see basically what happens um, i do believe that we are going to rally from here at least towards towards uh, 2.022 and uh, yes we'll see but i think that this is should be a very encouraging trade and that most likely will take out these previous highs up here so let's look at nickel we can see that we tried to rally and then pull back and usually when this happens it pulls back all the way down to the 20 exponential cci is turning around this should be basically a warning sign for this and um, and my uh, stochastic is still is still basically bullish yes what are you gonna say uh pull back towards the 20 and uh, uh find if we find supportive yes then it's possible to buy this i was hoping to uh, it fell towards the 50 it may do that when we basically get rejected here it may fall all the way down to the 50 and then there's basically your uh, chance to buy into this market it is also possible to buy in at the 20 exponential with a stop loss underneath and target of the very highs but 50 is basically better as you can see right here this was an amazing move to the upside so let's look at sugar so this is probably as far as sugar will go um it has it seems like it has found support here cci has stopped falling uh, stoch the rsi has stopped falling uh stochastic and no, the stochastic and the macd are still very uh, bearish at this stage but it seems like this area 0 0.1440 uh is quite supportive and we may turn around here uh, to the upside so if we do if we start trading above the 50 break the 20 then of course we are heading towards these uh, highs of 0 0.1562 so that is still be seen it is looking really nice for sugar yet again so cotton we rallied yesterday broke down today and uh, at this point this is a market that doesn't really know whether it rallied to the upside or should it break towards the 50 moving average technical indicators for this are all over the place stochastic is bullish the other indicators are either flat or bearish at the stage so we need a clear signal are we going to break to below the 20 exponential towards the 50 or are we going to rally up towards these very highs 
Um, it is a very risky trade to make because it is basically 50 50. It can go either way. So let's look at Kakoa. Yes, Kakoa rallied and then broke down really nasty. So if we look at a Fibonacci retracement for Kakoa, we can see that we are heading towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement. These indicators are looking dreadful for this market. Um, so it'll be interesting whether or not we manage to pull back from here. If we break the 50, we're heading towards the 50 moving average and probably the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. If that breaks, we're going all the way down towards the 100. So that usually is what happens is the 61.8. If that breaks, then it's nearly guaranteed that we head towards the 100. And that is roughly 2.25. That is a massive fall for, for a market that rallied this aggressively only a few weeks ago. So it is to be seen whether or not what happens. We could also pull around here this just does not look really good for this market. So let's look at wheat. As you can see, we continue our downfall in wheat. I don't think that we're going to stop until we head towards the uh, 200 moving average or at 550. That is probably the end of the line for this fall. And then we'll start heading up again. Technically, needed for this are fairly bearish or mixed. CCI is turning around, but still fairly bearish. Uh, the same is for RSI, same as the Castic, same is for the MACD. So if we take out this uh, lows here from yesterday, then that that opens the door to these very lows of 550. So that is your probable entry point for a buy. And the target would be the 20 exponential, the 50, and then with the very highest. So we'll see what happens. But at this point, we are in a free fall. And usually it's not a good idea to, to catch a um, knife in a free fall. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.